Hey everybody, it's Brett, your thankful carnivore. It's Tuesday, the 26th of March. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you coming by and checking it out. You can see my Instagram at thankful.carnivore and you can follow me on Twitter at stickmanbleeding. That's S-T-I-C-K-B-L-E-E-D-I-N. First thing I want to do is offer prayers and condolences for Dr. Ken Berry, his family, his employees of his clinic. There was an unfortunate fire there yesterday. Don't know the cause. We do know that everybody was okay, that nobody was harmed. This is good. Let's pray for Ken Berry, Dr. Ken Berry, a carnivore doctor who's working hard for his patients with a low-carb way of eating to treat their illnesses with great success. His clinic caught fire. He's going to be okay. His family's going to rise up out of this, and they're going to persevere because we're going to pray for him, and we're going to help him in any way we can. Now, with that said, I had the most amazing good night's sleep last night. I slept for eight and a half hours. I had to wake up once to go to the bathroom, but because my bladder is 58 years old, and apparently that happens. Who knew? <laughs> it's not a problem. But I slept so soundly and woke up feeling the most refreshed I have in a very long time. And I've been sleeping well pretty consistently for about the last three months. There's a usually now only one night a week. There used to be, it used to be two nights a week I wouldn't sleep so good. Now it's de that's down to one night a week. And for me, a good night of sleep, I count a good night of sleep as at least six hours. A, a solid night of sleep is seven hours. A great night of sleep for me is eight hours. Well, last night I had eight and a half hours of sleep. So I feel like I was plugged into to the Energizer Bunny charger and everything right now. And it's going to be a beautiful day after I get done making this video. I'm going to go walk the dog for a mile. I got lots of other things I have to do. But I feel great because of a good night's sleep. If you've been having trouble, I bet money, if you've been having trouble sleeping, you've been having, you're almost always going to be having health problems, in my opinion, of some kind. Because when we sleep is when our bodies detox. So it stands to reason in my mind, a guitar player's mind, I'm not a medical professional, I'm a musician. <laughs> but in my experience, in my mind, not being able to sleep, waking up, sleep disturbances in the middle of the night are one of the biggest red flags of a health problem that our bodies give us. So if you're not sleeping well, you've got problems that you need to attend to. Because without sleep, we don't detox. Our bodies can't rest. We don't process nutrition as well. The whole system operates in a non-optimal fashion. Now, as a carnivore, what I have learned is that on those nights that I am short of sleep, the next day is not the disaster it used to be. It's not one of those, oh, this day is never going to end. How am I going to get through this? Oh, gosh. No, it's not like that at all. I have energy to get through the day. In fact, on days that I have to work, if I've not had as much sleep as I would like, I'll eat a little pemmican before I go. Nice little square block about like that. Mmm, about yay thick. I can go for a solid eight hours, physical labor, and not think anything about it now. Isn't it wonderful? <laughs> That's as a carnivore. Listen. I want each and every one of you out there today to have a wonderful day. I want you to eat your meat and drink your water. If you're doing your keto diet, run those macros. Don't cheat. Don't have an extra fat bomb you don't need. Because you know you don't need it. Have a wonderful day and a beautiful night's sleep. We'll see you guys tomorrow.